here we are again. Sunshine and showers today, pretty much the theme for the week really, but there was one rather good day this week, which I think was Monday, in which I got an awful lot done. So to recap, I put a trellis up for my new clematis. I put some extra training wires in for the blackberries. There's an awful lot of shoots coming which I'll need training later in the year. I spent an awful lot of time weeding this bed, about four hours in total. And we've had a visitor to the garden. Bird feeders aren't meant for that. Well today I'm going to plant some potatoes. These are King Edwards and they've had a really good chit as you can tell from the little shoots on them. So these will go where the strawberries used to be in Strawberry Patch. Well, it used to be Strawberry Patch, it's not anymore. I also found these lurking in the corner of my kitchen. These are baby pearl potatoes and they've decided to have a good chit too. I think I'll plant a row of these at the same time. Plus, I'm going to plant my corn. I'm going to start with the sweet corn and the first thing I'm going to do is tramp the soil down because this was very effective at keeping weeds in check last year. And I'm going to plant two rows, four in each row. Now that that soil's nicely compacted, I'll just decide where I'm going to put my plants. And then I can dig a little hole to pop them in. It's got good roots on. Lovely roots. Here you go. Super. And that's the sweet corn in place. I've got them in early this year because I'm blowed if I'll be caught out like I was last year. Looking forward to some nice sweet corn. Now, for the potatoes, I'm going to plant three rows crossways. I'll have a couple of King Edwards and some baby pearls, one row baby pearls. So let's just get the soil level to start with. Right, I now need to create some little ridges which I'll do by just pulling up the soil. Okay, so I've got three nice little ridges here. Whew, quite gusty. Now I should be able to get five potatoes into each ridge, about nine inches apart, with the shoots pointing upwards. Okay, looks good. Now I'll plant them to a depth of about five inches with the shoot pointing upwards. Be careful not to break the shoot off. Okay, there's one. Lovely. Now I'll do the others. Do 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 do. do. Super. Let's hope I have some nice tatties later in the year. And I'll finish off with some cat defences around the potato area. Why? Because cats, and particularly my cat, cannot resist freshly dug soil. My alisum have reached the stage where they desperately need planting out. So I'm going to put them under the apple spindles with the alisum from last year. Oh yeah, these are looking good. Come on, baby. A bit tricky to get out then. Eh? 
I'm going to put plenty of slug pellets down to protect these babies. Do a bit of weeding while I'm at it. Garlic. Beetroot. Cauliflower. Parsnip. Lobelia. Phlox. Stock. Salvia. Cineraria. Leeks. Chilies. No sign of any spinach whatsoever. In fact, I can't even see the camera. Maybe I'll reseed this area later in the week. So I'm going to finish off in the greenhouse this week. Now, those of you who subscribe to my videos and actually bother to watch them will remember that I've bought some packets of black coloured beans. It's time to plant them in pots. So I'm going to plant each bean just by pushing it in down to a depth of just over an inch. Plop. It's a variety called Blauhilde. Not Brunhilde, but Blauhilde. Poke. Give them all a good water. I've planted 20. I figure I should be able to get 16 plants into my raised bed. And assuming that they don't all germinate, hopefully I should have enough. Hey, hey, Mama said the way you move, gonna make you sweat, gonna make you groove, 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 groove. Hey, hey, Mama, when you walk that way, once you're on a trip, can't keep away, way, way. I don't know, but I've been told the three legged woman ain't got no soul, so, so. I never did quite understand that lyric. <laughs> well, that's enough for this week. Just need to water my tomatoes, then I'm going to go inside and have a bath. I'm absolutely disgusting and windswept. That's all I've got time for this week, really. It's all I can be bothered with. Thanks for watching, and do join me next time in Tiddly's Busy Garden.